Welcome to Ferritone Studios. This is my Chapman ML3 Pro Modern, and I'm gonna tell you about it. I've had this guitar for months. You've probably seen it in a few videos, especially a while ago. It tends to stay inside in my house, um, actually in my bedroom, just uh, it's the guitar I play when I'm chilling out in bed. Not that makes any difference or anything, but I've got a bit of a love-hate relationship with this guitar and I'm gonna go into some details about it. I'm gonna start with the things I don't like about this guitar. Um, this is actually the second one of these I've had. The first one, uh, I played for about 25 seconds and the paint wore off. So not the paint, sorry, the lacquer originally wore off around this top edge where my arm sort of rubbed it. And I'm not a sweaty person, I've got like no hair. And uh, I was a bit surprised that that wore off because you know, I'd played it for about maybe an hour, maybe two hours, sort of over a couple of days. Um, and I could feel that it wasn't comfy. And the same thing has happened on this one. There's this, this big chunk here, uh, you'll have to ignore that. I left my kids in here for 10 seconds unsupervised and they put a big chunk out of it and took this corner off. No idea how they did it. So I sent the original one back. Um, they sent me this one. They did say, you know, we have no idea. We've never had that before. But it is a satin finish, so maybe it's not very hard wearing, but I haven't played this one much and all the finish is coming off. I just sort of, because the guitar sort of ruined anyway, I've just accepted it. it's gonna relic and it will look cool, but just something to be aware of. These Some of these satin finishes may not wear as they should. It could be a problem with the primer or undercoat, often the same thing, or the lacquer. But the fact that it's worn through to the wood here, through the lacquer, through the primer, through the red primer, uh, to the wood, suggests that, well, a bit of a problem, isn't it? The weight of this guitar, it's about three and a half kilos. Uh, that, that's with a strap. So I don't know if it's a heavy strap or not, but whatever. But that's about seven lubs, uh, seven lubs, 11 ounces. Uh, it weighs nothing. And because it's so light, it's sort of neck dive. I mean, I'm holding it here so it doesn't. When you're wearing a strap, it's sort of neck dives. Um, and that's, it's not that comfortable because of that. So I'm trying to cut some solutions, which I'm gonna do a separate video on. In fact, I did have this bolt covered in washers shoved on there's a there's a hole for the jack socket and this fitted inside with the cables at the side just to give it some weight it wasn't quite enough i have actually ordered some three millimeter steel checker plate to replace this uh, rear cavity plate which i thought well if i could put loads of weight here it might bring it back down i've also got a, a levy strap which is suede and that's a bit grippier so it sort of half solves the problem because i play standing up mostly um, Sitting down, it's not too bad, but standing up, I think it's just, so it's doing it now. Yeah, just too top heavy, but it's I, it's not that the neck's heavy, it's just the body doesn't weigh anything. And on Guitar Guitar's website and Anderton's website, I bought this from Anderton's, it said it's a mahogany body. I mean, looking at the color of it, it's not mahogany. And I've made guitars out of, I say mahogany, it's gonna be Sapili. I've made guitars out of Sapili, and there is no, absolutely no way this is made out of Sapili. Um, not that I care, I just you know, wish the website was right, but on the um, Chapman website after I bought it, I think it was updated, and I think it's actually basswood or basswood, which is a lighter timber. But you know, you could, you could gig this for hours and hours and not have any problems, uh, just because it doesn't weigh anything at all. This is a weird one, the tone knob. So I'm just gonna play a C. So all the action is from like naught to one and uh, sort of the rest of the sweep doesn't really do much. I mean, you can fine tune it a tiny bit, but I'd rather the tone knob did sort of more. So I'm actually gonna change all the electrics. We'll get onto that in the next point. The five-way switch. So in the front position, front humbucker. Rear position, rear humbucker. Middle position, both humbuckers. Very clever. But these positions two and four are one humbucker and one coil split, and then the other way around for you know position two and four. Um, and on the, I mean, this is not a dig at Anderson's, I love Anderson's, I've been shopping there for about 20 years, but on their website, one of the reasons I bought this because it said it had push pull knobs, it doesn't. And I thought, well, at least I can, you know, split whichever pickup I want and get whatever sound I want. Uh, you can't, you can't just you know, have both split. You can you can only have both pickups on with one split. So I have actually bought uh, some push-pull knobs to replace these and a three-way switch just so I can split either pickup and have 
you know, whichever one I want split. So I've got two, like front humbucker, rear humbucker, both humbuckers, or front as a single coil, rear as a single coil, and both as a single coil, which is just far more versatile. I don't know why they didn't do that. Anyway, onto the stuff I like about it. It looks amazing. It's such a good looking guitar. Feels really nice, but it's weird to get used to because it's got a satin finish and it weighs literally, it's, it's got negative weight. It's like when you eat celery and that's apparently got negative calories. It's a negative weight. You put this guitar on and you're lighter than not wearing a guitar. It's ridiculous. So you can play it for hours. The pickups, they've got so much clarity. I'll play a bit in a minute. Um, the pickups sound great. I mean, you, you don't get the best idea of how it sounds playing through YouTube because of YouTube's compression. You know, it's, the sound is so processed by the time you hear it, there's no point. And I'm not going to do much processing on it at all. It's literally going to go through this into Reaper and then you're going to hear it, but you know, YouTube compresses stuff. The frets, they're stainless steel. They're really shiny. They look really good. And I think because they're stainless steel, they're probably never wear out. I say never, they're going to take a lot longer to wear out. The side dots. These glow in the dark, which may sound silly, but you're gonna do a dark gig and you're not gonna be able to tell where you're playing, and this helps a lot. In fact, when it's because it's at the side of my bed at night, you can just see these glowing, it looks really cool. It's a neck through or through neck, I don't know which way around to say it. So the neck goes all the way through the guitar. Not that you can tell from the front, but on the rear, if you look closely, you can see where the grain is slightly different. Never had a guitar that's through neck or neck through before, so. It's quite cool. It's got locking tuners. I, I don't really care about locking tuners, but they are quite handy and some people love them. So I suppose that's a plus. It comes with a hard case. It's just a, a rectangular hard case, but it's really nice. It's got loads of nice compartments in it. Just nice for a guitar to come with a hard case. I'm, I'm not gonna take a picture of it because it's sort of in storage, in storage, it's under a bed. I just, it's a case, you know what a case looks like. And the final thing I love about a Chapman guitar, which is something my mate Steve loves as well. You get a cleaning cloth with it and not just like a little tiny, like clean your glasses cloth. Look at the size of this. That's a, look, if it's sunny, you've got a hat, you've got a mask, you know, perfect. I mean, you can properly clean your guitar. I've never seen that with anything, like ever. That's, that is amazing. I just think, how good is that? Not that I've um, cleaned any guitars with it, so I don't really bother to be honest, but pff, that's pretty cool. Before I get on to playing some music, uh, I'm going to do another video because I've got all these parts arriving to replace with electrics. So I'll do a video where I replace the electrics to, uh, it's going to have a three-way switch instead. Still tone and volume, but there'll be push-pull. The tone will have a full sweep. Um, so that'll be nice. I think it'd be linear or log. I can't remember which way around. I will let you know in that video. But also where I replace the rear cavity cover with a piece of metal in an attempt to balance the guitar out more. Well, let's do some sounds. I'm going to go on clean because every video of a Chapman has just got gain on it and load of drive. You can't hear how the guitar sounds and this on clean sounds incredible. So I'm just going to do a load of clean tones starting with the neck pickup. Let me get a pick to hand. This is what the neck pickup sounds like. Middle position. Thank you. 
bridge position. This is position two. I have no idea what this is doing. One coil split, one isn't. Uh, I don't know which way around, I can't remember. Position four, again, it's one pickup split and the other one not. I don't know which way around. Still sounds good though. Yeah, it's just it's it's a really nice guitar. It's got its got its problems, but when I rewire it, that's going to solve you know the the tone thing I don't like and the switch which sort of does. I mean, it's going to do what this does already, but more. And I don't know why it didn't come with that anyway. But you know, it's nice and uh, doesn't weigh much, so I can play it for hours. In fact, when our other studio is rebuilt, this is going to be my studio guitar for that studio. So it's first time I do the single coil and a humbucker sounds without me having to take two guitars um, and it doesn't weigh much so I'll be able to play it for hours so the weight well that's sort of a negative it's also a bit of a positive as well because it means you can play this forever and not have any problems. For those that are interested the output of the pickups the neck pickup is 10.8 ohms and the bridge pickup is 12.2 ohms so they're quite similar in output not exact but what great pickups they really are fantastic hopefully that helped someone sorry I didn't do anything with drive or gain I just there's really no point it's, it's a great sounding guitar and at least you can hear what I did it's going through an orange rocker 15 uh, it's got no reverb so I was using a Hall of Fame reverb SM57 and I think that is uh, a greenback Celestian greenback because uh, that was the vintage 30. Um, yeah. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. <laughs>